All right, so <clears throat> we are back. Uh, last time we went to the cove, um, Daryl need uh, uh, Daryl needs some stress relief. Um, let's just let him get whipped. Um, I feel like I don't. I think the higher this goes, the more stress they reduce. I haven't actually really confirmed that, but I think it makes sense. So we're just going to put him there, um, and we'll let him get whipped for a little bit. The body is source of pain. It must be raised. Yeah, that looks painful. Okay, whatever you want to do, dude. Um, other than that, uh, let's check out to see if there's any new recruits. I think we took them. No, we did not. Okay. So, we haven't gotten to my goal of upgrading this yet. We need more weaponsmithing, uh, which means I need more deeds. So, I'm hoping to get into a place that has more deeds available, because I would love to start upgrading some stuff. Uh, but this Antiquitan, uh, this guy is... He's pretty good, um... He's not a fighter at all. He is here to help you make money. Um, he uh, he increases the amount of loot that's in a dungeon. Um, I'm not basically able to what you're able to find. You want to make sure you loot a lot of stuff with him. Um, get down. Let's see. Flash powder. Um, bypass self. Heal vapors is good. Um, he doesn't have the invigorating uh, vapors, which buffs the entire party. Um, it's a buff to himself. He's got Flash Powder, which helps debuff, and it gets rid of Stealth. Uh, we're, that's what we're going to be using most of the time, or, or Healing Vapors, I guess. Um, uh, but let's... Uh, obsess with Material Things. That makes sense. He's an Antiquitan. And for 4 speed, 20 armor cost. He's got a real... He's got... This plus 4 speed is really good, because if you can combo it with the plus 3 dodge, um, or the, just the... Eventually, that gets like the plus like 7 or 8 or something like that then it's really good. So we're going to grab him for sure. Um, let's look and see at our classes. And uh, we have another Highwayman and a Dog uh, a Houndmaster. So let's look, compare our Houndmasters. He's Calm, which means he's 15 damage on the first round. The way we're playing around that, or we would play around that, is by having him Whistle or Stress Release reduce at the, at the first turn instead of focusing on damage. Which isn't optimal. Um, and then this guy is light sensitive. Minus 10 damage if he's above 75%. So that's like a permanent debuff. We'd want to definitely get rid of that for sure. Um, and then minus 20 stress above 75. That's pretty good though too. And he... Neither of them have what I want in terms of moveset. So it doesn't really matter what I... Uh, which one I have... Um, he does have a better. He does have hard skin, which is actually better. So Murdoch, I think, is going to stay with us, and we have another Highwayman we can take, which I love Highwayman, and he has my repost combo. So this guy is actually going to go to our line team. Um, I, what is stats? Guilty conscience. He, okay, not even a bad negative Kirk. He just won't get. Um, he has a crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. Plus ten healing skills. Plus ten proc. That's actually so. This is a good Highwayman. I'm okay with this. Let's go and treat somebody. So, because I I like this Murdoch, but I'm going to get rid of this Calm. Um, let's embark, and let's see what kind of quest we should go on. Alright, so let's sort by level. Um, we're starting to get into level 3 territory. Um, plus 10 damage if your torch is above 7. That's pretty good. Um, that's a lot of gold. This is, okay, kill the Cenaris Prophet, and this might actually be worth, because it's 25 Eldricks, and I really do want to start adventuring in the Cove, and a lot of the guys are Cove, are in the Cove, are Eldricks. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't, we didn't stay away from the runes too long, so, uh, let's go kill the Prophet. I, I, I'm, I think that's going to be our best option. We are going to... We got our level one. He's he's fine right here. If you want to bring him, it's only our medium quest. Uh, let's try and level up our dial a little bit, or you know what? Let's bring Drax. Um, he's got the better armor. Um, he uh, he's got the stuff I want anyway. Um, we need a healer, which will bring the Vestal. Um, and we want people with high dodge for this one because this guy summons a bunch of rocks to make them fall on us. So we need a tank with dodge, basically. Ten. We'll take him later. Um, he's got 13. The abomination might actually still be good. 
Can he hit the back line? He doesn't hit the back line. We need somebody that can definitely hit the back line. Um, because the... I might bring... He doesn't have the dodge, but... Let's see... And we just may bring Gray. Is Reynold any better? He's only level two, one, one now. So we're we're bringing Gray, I think. And the Abomination, I think, is fine still as well. Um, it's gonna be a little hard. We have to like the boss fight. You have to, um, you have to break through some passages to kind of get to the boss. So it's a little tricky. But I think it's fine. Um, go to our trinkets. All right, so plus ten accuracy, plus five. Uh, um, so this focus ring, I may not actually bring this time. It's it's really good, but I I don't want to limit my dodge unless it gets me like protection or something. Um, we are gonna bring that for him, and let's give him a fancy hat. Plus five accuracy. There we go. For melee skills, that's all he does. Um, alright, so we need a better blight skill chance and resist, dodge resist, let's see, virtue, minus ten speed. Vestal. See, I, I should have brought the or gotten the uh healing thing. 15 skill, bleed, do do do, move resistance, stun resistance, plus 10, we don't want it. Plus 15 dodge if the torch is above, yeah, we're gonna bring that. Um, and then Plague Doctor, you're gonna get better accuracy and seize resistance. I don't want uh, nothing that would mess up dodge, so I don't have enough trinkets that I'd really actually want to utilize. So I'm just gonna bring the one for him, and this should be fine. Yeah. All right. So medium. So we bring our twelve. We bring our eight. Hopefully, no more than that checks. Oops. Let's bring three shovels. Bring a couple anti venoms, a couple bandages, a couple medicine, one key, two waters. And again, I'm just not gonna bring the. I don't ever bring laudium. I'm sure it's helpful more later on, um, but. Well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that left unchecked. I would soon unleash doom upon the world. The echoes of his mindless All right, so I'm going to since we don't get to scout it. I'm going to assume that he's not right here. That would make this game way too easy. I bet he's at the very end over here, and if I'm wrong, then that sucks. All right, I'm not here for loot. I'm just going to kind of ignore it. Not here for loot. Unless I'm confident something will buff me, I'm not even. I'm not gonna really bother with it if I feel like it's gonna have a negative effect. Um, do do do. Packs are good. A fortune waiting to be spent. Snap it! All rare travelers. So oh, Darius, the highwayman. Oops, shoot. Oh shoot! I gotta grab her actual stuff. I don't even think I did that. I knew I should have checked it first. Um, so... Um, yeah, let's Plague because we might be able to get it killed. That should be enough for damage. He's at 5 health, so I need to do one more damage to it. The wheel to fight. Fall to. Good hit.
heal back up, she's, and then that's going to die down its turn. Uh, we're going to stun this guy. I probably actually could have gone for the try, try to go for the kill for that one, but this will work here. And then that guy should die now too. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. All right. Um, they're all pretty weak, so we will just do that. Oh, he down. This is how a life is taken. Um, let's see. So if I tried to do this, this is seven to fourteen damage. I'm unlikely to kill. It's a twenty-five percent chance for it to fail. It's seventy-five percent stun resistance. So I'm gonna try it because I don't think I'll kill it. Okay, it was worth a try. Try doing, trying to avoid the damage. Um, it's a good hit. Still resistant though. Take some bleed. There we go. Alright, so you're gonna hear a lot of puppy in the background this time. Alright, oop, sorry. Uh create compassion heirlooms. Alright, cool. Um, let's Picks. Do some torches real quick. I don't want to walk around in the dark. Where are my torches? Did I not bring torches? Oh crap! Um, so that is not good. Um, all right. I I done fucked up, yo. Um. Okay, we're gonna basically be going through this dungeon torchless. And I, I forgot to fucking change the thing too again. All right, so. Why, why not why not make it hard, harder for us? Yes, we got this, guys. Come on. Um, she's already freaking the hell out. Um, so... I gave her a thing that hopefully will make her less stressed um, and give her a high virtue chance. Um, it's putting in work right now, for sure. Um, I'm gonna do that. Cause he's gonna uh, stun the back line. Hopefully. Of course, he'll dodge it. Uh, we are gonna try and stun homeboy right here. Oh, she didn't get stunned either. Shit. Both of them got. Like, damn. Uh, that is bad. Vestal is gonna get pissed. Oh, there's the horror. Okay. Stressful incantation. Um, we are going to try if I play grenade I think this will die so I'm gonna do that I need her to move up anyway I'm gonna transform really quick um, he is at three he's gonna die from that so I don't have to do that I'm just gonna go for this big one that he's gonna die too so Gonna miss. We're gonna try and stun him then instead. Dude! Extra dodge, shit, come on. Incantation. All right, I give you that ten percent trinket. Be cool. Come on. Ah, no way. All right, fearful. This is not a good start. She's afflicted. When heroes can't take stress anymore, they become afflicted. This manifests in different behaviors and stat changes. Afflictions last until you send them for treatment in town, unless you can reduce their stress to zero during the quest. I don't. It is so hard to do that um i have never been able to do, actually do that I, i'm sure there's some strategies to it but when you camp they're they sometimes they'll blow off whatever you're trying to do to help them um like they they won't let me help you basically it's, she's gonna die on her turn so i'm just gonna try and heal
bring him down. And let's just de-stress him a little bit. He requests absolution! Alright. And that dies. Enough room, but what is this? Stun skill chance, okay. Um, that is pretty good, and that's the perfect thing we can add to our doctor that we didn't get. Alright, well at least we got a scout so we can kind of see for any traps. Um, this is bad, don't, uh, like, don't go into duh, I must walk right on that. Don't go into dungeons without trap with traps. Uh with our with uh without torches. Um this is pretty bad. Use that key, get some stuff. And she's oh be she because she's stressed out and fearful, she's gonna scare everybody else and then she's gonna act add extra stress to everybody too. On top of that, we're in the pitch black. We're gonna fight, hopefully, just some little bugs. Nope, two extra people that will scare the fuck out of everybody. And they go first. Oh god. I might flip their trinkets. I keep forgetting to give her the stun. Oh my god. Um, we need to stun something. We're going to try and stun them. Be gone, fiend. Be gone, fiend. All right, they're stunned. Three damage. That's three damage. That's that. She's just stressing out everybody. Um, let's do a judgment. Of course, you're gonna miss. Right. Play grenade. Um, hopefully, that's gonna be enough damage to kill. Um, that's gonna do eight. In, okay, that will kill him at least. Um, I'm gonna stun him because I didn't want him to die. I wanted them to move forward. Um, that's the only reason I went with that. So that way they move up, and since they're dying from their blight, I can actually reach this guy now. Knife in the dark, and when they're in the front line, they're more unlikely to use their stress invoking stuff. Uh, so he is at 4 damage, he has 5 health. Um, my plague doctor will likely kill him, so I'm just going to de-stress. Or Reynolds can do it, actually. Precision. Let's just get that. Nine damage, yeah. So he's gonna die on his turn, so we're gonna heal up our party. Um Oh, that's right! Alright guys, we are not completely helpless. Um Bulwark of Faith gives you torchlight. Um so before I forget again this thing. Oh, I didn't fucking take dazzling light, god damn it. Get this move, guys. Do not be like me. Grab Dazzling Light. It is helpful. It is probably the best skill you can get in the game. Well, and for Vestal, other than the heals. She, like, you desperately need that move. Secrets and Doc is their ally. Found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. And, you know, because um, the Vestal already missed her chance to do stuff... It's, I'm going to do a slightly less optimal play real quick. Um, don't need this. There we go. And go here. Flip that, because I'm more worried about her now. And this gives me a stun chance, but she's not going to be stunning anybody because I keep forgetting her freaking best stun move. So, alright.
It can't be like this! Alright, um, we are going to throw some plague. Um, we'll be able to stun her with the, uh, the, the abomination. Rend for the dark! And let's get some torchlight. Dude, I have you hit with one of those? Like, alright, she's dead anyway, but that's still really annoying. Um, Noxious Blast, let's just throw it on him. Hey, hey there we go, we got a crit out of it too. Um, and when they crit, they kind of release, release a little bit of stress. It's just manacles, and good hit, wow, good crit, good crit. Okay. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. She's gonna die, so stress release. Their formation is broken. All right. Maintain the offensive. We're doing better than I thought we would. Keep going. Let's keep going. We got a treasure. Oh, sweet, a torch too. Okay, we're gonna use that right before we get to the boss room. Finding the stuff is only um, the first test. Now it must be carried. All right. What do we need to get rid of though for this? Uh. 375. It's not quite a thousand. Oh, there we go. We don't need these. So I want this one torch for the boss room because I'm hoping that we'll get over 75 so that way they get their plus dodge. Um, but I gotta do it right before the uh, the final room. Um, Anti-venom. We... I don't know why I brought that many anti-venoms. We don't need anti-venom whatsoever in this place. Yeah. Darkness closes in. Haunting the hearts of men. Yeah, yeah, just tempt her. Stress continues to build beyond the point of affliction. If hero bars gil phages, uh, uh, yeah, if a hero stress bar fills a second time completely, their body will give out. Give them aid and retreat, or retreat back to town before this happens. Death awaits us all. Uh, yeah, it definitely does. Um, I can't do anything about that right now. We got to get to this spot to camp. And so in the meantime, we're going to try and focus and hopefully kill these stress adders. She's 128. So we got a little bit of wiggle room, but not much. And hopefully that's poison. That's three. Okay. This will die from stress, which will mean she will actually move up. We're going to add some to uh, torchlight. We're going to make sure he is targeted by anything else. Or just, you know, be a dick and ignore it. That's not good. You know, you could just be cool. You could target the guy who's marked and will actually take extra damage. But, you know, just, you know, throw it on my Vestal who's not really doing much. And missing literally every fucking move. Alright, um... This is not going well. Alright, this guy's gonna die though, at least. And that moves him up. Which, hopefully, Reynolds right here will get to one-shot this homeboy. Okay. Dead weight. He should push him back. Yep. Alright, cool. That's thank you. That's actually exactly what I needed. Uh, we are gonna stun. Does nothing. Uh, we are smites. Seven to thirteen. I actually kinda hope I don't kill him. Love. Plus seven, hey! There we go. We're doing good, guys. We're, we got this. All right. Um, this is a chest. Uh, watch it be trapped because life is fun. Um, it's just open. Yep, it's trapped. Life is fun. 
Wait. Oh, didn't I just get rid of my anti-venoms? Cool story, bro. Alright. Nothing ever poisons you in this room. Hunger. Alright. Well, we cleaned up a little bit of our inventory. Books? Nope. No, thank you. Bag of empty sack? Yes. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Watch him be right here. Uh oh, she's got a bad perk to just open shit. Uh oh, that's a trap. Uh oh. Alright, um. Hopefully this room is empty. Alright. So, I'm gonna use firewood, and we're gonna make camp for the night. Uh, we are going to eat our feast. Alright, so. If morality debuffs, it heals 50%. If morality debuffs, um, so all companions, uh, we are going to prevent the next time ambush and hopefully... See, it doesn't... I don't think it does anything for her, though, is the problem. Let's see. I need zealous speech. 15 par uh, stress for the whole party. Pep talk. Um, let's see. This is move disease, heals damage, 15 stress. All companions, 20 minus 10 stress. That's pretty good. Pep talk, 15% stress. Like, she actually has... <sighs> I can make her reduce stress a little bit more. I don't have anybody for extra, like, buffs for the party, though, is the problem. I think I'm going to... Let's just do the nighttime ambush. There's no time for it. Did that work? There's no time for prayer. Oh my god. See, like, and that's the thing. Like, they will sometimes just say, Hey, I'm not going to do what you're doing. And it just wastes a skill. So, I, if we get ambushed right now, I'm going to be pissed. Because I did waste As four. But, alright. So, we have 100 torchlight. I need him. I have one torch. Clear. Hopefully, it will, uh... <laughs> I'm really hoping that we can make it to at least 75, because then we'll, we'll at least have the trinket that does this. And let's do that. Um, you know what? We're not gonna kill those, so let's just do blinding gas. Thanks, girl. Good chance to kill. And then I think he's got blighted, so yeah. It's the right pick. He moves up because he got blight. Three. Ow, that's my plague doctor. Um, let's do another beast bile. I probably should have gone for the other stun right there, but I, I wanted to make sure this guy dies. That's six, so that's perfect. Um, this is going to take three. I doubt she's going to hit for seven, but... That's five. That's really good. That's the max you can do, actually. So he's gonna die next turn, so I can focus fire. I can focus on healing a little bit now. Um, and we will do this right here to this guy. I'll have him stun, and then I'll have him heal. Taking five. Good dodge. Thank you. Um, so you know what? We'll stun. No. Okay. We're not. I actually did not. I, that's actually kind of bad. I didn't want it to die because now I don't. He's going to be going into this boss fight with less health than he should be. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? All right. So 74. I did manage. I, I forgot to do the uh, the the bulwark thing that gives me extra torchlight. But we did make make sure we get there to 89. Um, since this is the last fight, we're going to have him eat. We're going to have him go in. And watch the dungeon. Okay, I was gonna say, watch the boss not be here. Prognostication. All right. So with this, he summons these little lights, and these spots are going like if he is there, it's going to fall on them. Um, I haven't figured out a way to uh, like I know if you move your characters, they sometimes do it. Uh, but some then somebody else gets hit. 
So we are just going to focus on, I'm going to have my Plague Doctor just really focus on trying to stun them. But you know what, I'm actually going to see... Let's see, do I have anything that can actually hit the back line with him? I do not. But we are going to transform. Knock back, choose forward, do do do. I'm going to have him rake. No, let's just... We just need to move him up really one. To actually get him into good target area. He's got my eye on you. Okay. We dodged it. Cool. So this is going to give him plus 20 protection. Um, so something's going to fall on him, so I actually want to do that. Good dodge. All right. Something for sure is going to happen right there. Does that move you up? I think it does, yeah. So we're going to try and get those switched around. I'm going to throw another Plague Grenade back there. Eight damage per tick. He's got a lot of ticks. So I'm going to try and clear this off. He'll move him up a little bit. He'll eliminate. I don't like that sound of that. Oh, here's the blight. <laughs> All right, so we got our plague doctor. I'm, I'm probably ooh, see like, I think that if it's he's predicting that this guy gets hit and they move. The I think that's a missed mechanic. Uh, he's gonna be stressed. Let's see, rage. Uh, we can actually start hitting him though with this. So. And just hope that they can dodge. Crit from one damage. Oof. And a lot of stress. And he's stunned. That's actually really bad. Alright. Um, play grenade. We are still going to focus on that. Because we just want to get those dots up to kill him as quickly as we can. Um, he's dealing 8 damage per round. Oof. Alright. They didn't put him at death's door. Um... He predicts that that will die. You're still gonna keep them plagued. You need to take 12. Um, I'm just gonna try and do that. So healing at this point, like, there's no way I, I'm I'm never gonna be able to out heal that damage. So I'm trying to prevent more of it just by weakening it down or weakening him down. So I can't outheal 20 damage a turn with one character. It's just it's uh, it's just too much. Um, so I got my double heal, but this guy he's just gonna have to. And unfortunately, this is kind of where Reynolds kind of sucks. He's marked, so I'm hoping he would actually get attacked more often. But um, the game decides not to. All right, so he's on death's door. That's bad. All right, so when a hero is reduced to zero HP, they're at death's door. While in the states, they will suffer stat penalties plus any further damage. Has a chance to kill them, heal them to get off death's door. So. Right, he's gonna try and summon more stuff to fall on them. I have to heal them. Um, Compassion is a rarity in the fever. He's off death store, but he still does get the minus X accuracy and stuff. So we're gonna still keep throwing plagues and playing grenades and. He's taking 16 damage per round, so he's going to die next turn, uh, on his next tick. So I just have to make sure they survive until then. Ooh, that is bad blight. That is bad blight. I am actually going to try and move. Uh, because if she gets hit with that and it uh, falls on him, then, uh, yeah, it's just really bad. Ew, he did not, for whatever reason, he didn't actually take that 16 right there. I bash it. No, he's just gonna go this way. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of All right, can you finish it? You want to finish it so nothing falls on our homeboys? All right, um, plague doctor. We are going to. He is going to die. I just don't want anything to tick, so we're gonna do that. Bam. 
death. All right, guys. We did it with near no uh, with no torches. Basically, we are definitely returning the hamlet for that one. Got a cool little weapon. We got the Eternal Crucifix, um, which will help us out in the cove a lot. And uh, we're gonna put some of these guys to bed. And uh, thank you guys so much for walking. We got to see the Prophet in action, the Sonaris Prophet. Um, and we, uh, it was a stressful one for me. So thanks again. Like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. Thank you.